So now we know how to find the regression line. We also want to be able to measure how well it fits the data. And the way that we do that is using something called the coefficient of correlation. And the symbol used for that is R. This is a numerical measure of the strength and direction of the linear association. Uh, between your two variables x and y. And you calculate it using this rather messy formula. Now you might see some things in here that look uh, uh, familiar. So this n sum of x squared minus the sum of x quantity squared, that's actually part of the numerator of standard deviation. So these quantities that are inside this uh, formula are, are comparing the, uh, or using the variation in the x coordinate and the y coordinate, uh, and then the variation in both uh, of your points x comma y. Now some notes here for this coefficient of correlation. It is always between negative 1 and positive 1. Uh, so it can't go less than negative 1, can't go greater than positive 1. Uh, r equals 0, if you sometimes get r equals 0, that indicates no linear relationship or no linear correlation. So there might be a relationship, but it's not a linear relationship. Uh, R equals 1 uh, indicates a perfect positive correlation between your two variables. And then R equals negative 1 indicates a perfect negative correlation between your two variables. Uh, if R is greater than 0, that indicates a positive correlation. R less than 0 indicates a negative correlation. So uh, the sign of the correlation coefficient indicates uh, whether the slope of the regression line is positive or negative. And then as to the strength, so that's direction, uh, the strength of the correlation, we can estimate that using this table. And this is not a fast and hard rule. Uh, these are estimates, so some other authors might give different estimates about what's strong and what's very strong, for example. But this gives you, you know, uh, some idea. So if your R value is between 0.9 and 1, that's going to be a very strong positive correlation between 0.7 and 0.9, strong correlation, 0.5 and 0.7, moderate correlation, uh, 0.3 and 0.5, weak correlation, and R0 to 0.3, um, none to very weak, uh, positive correlation. Now, if uh, your slope is negative, then you'll just look at the negatives of these. So negative, negative 0.9 to negative 1 is going to be a very strong negative correlation. So it works with both positives and negatives. So let's look at some pictures to get a visual idea of what the correlation uh, coefficient looks like. So here, um, we interpret R visually here. These points, uh, they look like they are pretty close to a line that has positive slope. So here, your R is going to be um, fairly close to 1. So here, R would be approximately 1. Uh, here, your data, it does channel from lower left to upper right. So R is going to be greater than 0. Uh, this looks like this is going to be a moderate um, correlation. So R here would maybe be approximately 0.6. And I'm just estimating. And then here, it doesn't look like there's any correlation at all. So here, your R is going to be approximately 0. Here it looks like your data uh, channels down from left to right. So R is going to be negative. And uh, they, the points are kind of spread out. They're not really close to a line. So I'm thinking here R would be approximately negative 0.6. And then here your data goes down left to right. And it's pretty doggone close to a line, to being on a line. So here your R would be approximately negative 1. And then here, you have a definite relationship, but it looks like an x squared curve, a quadratic, not a line. So in this case, you would also have 
r is approximately zero because the correlation coefficient only measures the strength of a linear relationship. And then one big caution here, uh, correlation does not imply causation. So lots of times you can have very high correlation. So variables can be related, they can change with one another, but it doesn't mean that there's cause and effect. There may be some other variable that you're not considering that is causing the change that you see. Um, so correlation is just talking about, is there a relationship? It's not examining cause and effect. So if we go back to the data from the Netflix example up here, we see our correlation coefficient right here, 0.99. And so that means that we have a positive relationship. And then 0.99, if you go back down to our table, um, that is in this range, very strong. So this is going to be a uh, very strong positive linear correlation. So that's how you would interpret the strength and the direction for this data. And remember that uh, that regression line looks something like this. Let's make that a little bit bigger. So it's about like that. So and you can see very close points, very close to the line, and that's the very strong. Positive goes up from left to right linear, they're close to a line and not some other curve.